If you've used Enterprise PDM, you're probably familiar with one of the most powerful tools within that program, which is the ability to customize your Windows folders to display a lot of different information. Now, we can't do the same thing within regular Windows, but we can do a little bit of customization. If we go here to Organize and Properties, and then click on the Customize tab, we can select from five different templates here. We just hit this drop down below, Optimize this folder for. Now we see that there's only five options and they're set by default. But in this case, we're going to use just this videos one. We don't have one for SolidWorks files. So we're going to use from now on this videos template for all of our SolidWorks folders. So select that. We'll make sure that that option to use this for the subfolders is applied. We'll hit OK. I'll just switch over to one of those subfolders. And we're going to change our view type to the detail view. Now under detail view, I see a number of columns, but not the ones I want. I want some of my SolidWorks uh, information here. So I'm going to go down to these additional detail columns that I can add, and I'm looking for description. Now there's two listing here. Now that's just kind of something that Windows does. So I need to turn them both on, and then I'll just turn off the one that I don't need. So that first one was the one that I didn't need. Now I can just reorder that to where I want it. And now I can see that the, my description custom property will display in my Windows folder. Now, unfortunately, this is the only custom property that I can show, but at least I can apply this to all of my SOLIDWORKS folders. So by setting all of my SOLIDWORKS folders to use that videos uh, template, then when I hit this apply to similar folders, now any folder set to that video type is going to use this same layout with my description field being available.